that's your Dana. Dana. And she came home to see you for your birthday. My name is Leanna Abney, and this is Holden. He's my son. He just turned seven. Say hi. 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 Um, we're from Sevierville, Tennessee. We got her. It was a rescue, I guess you could say, because she was uh, living. It was a litter that was under a porch of somebody that we knew. So we took, took her in, and... She has been with us ever since, until she was gone. <laughs> the back door, it will, like the wind can, if it doesn't shut and latch all the way, the wind could get it. And she got out that back door. We were gone maybe an hour at the most. And we have a dog back there, a lab. And she was even in the backyard. So it was really strange how she disappeared because it was unlike her to just be gone. And um, when I came home, I had to run out and get them from school. When I came home, um, she was gone. She had gone outside. The dog was inside and um, the door was open. And we just never saw her again. She just completely vanished. I got in the car and started to drive around the neighborhood. We walked the neighborhood, you know, tried to look around, see if we could find her. I had a couple who reached out to me immediately when, when we put the alert out and the person had seen her, her paw boost and thought that they had found her because they had a cat that looked very, very similar and sent me pictures, brought the cat in, asked if it was her and it, it wasn't because she does have a little ear tip done on, on her ear. So whenever I saw the picture, I realized it wasn't her. We, I got a message from that same person that lived down um, in that neighborhood and she said, um, hey, I, I think that they might have your cat at the animal care center here in Sevierville. Go check out their Facebook page because, you know, it has the same ear that you were describing to me. So I was so in shock because this was February the 24th and she had been gone since November. We picked her up and brought her home. And then when he got back from school, she was waiting for him in his bedroom. So it was a big surprise. She was sitting on the middle of the bed and he came in and found her. He was miles up the road like all the way down the river, down by the Smoky Mountain Knife Works is where the person found her that took her in. And there was a, a lady that had found her down there and she had fed her. And when I went to the care center, they told me that she had a daughter and she said, you know, that I thought the cat was a stray, but she was really good with my daughter. You know, she's obviously he has been around people and is a pet. So she took her in to the care center and that's that was the place that posted her on Facebook where we found her so we could get her back. So yeah, I was definitely, definitely grateful for that. 